What is going on, everyone? And welcome to Cart 60. Did I just, like, 63. Did I just bump the mic? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Ben, and uh, I've just been through a cycle of hurting myself three times. Uh, I dropped a barbell on my chest because my spotter wasn't at the ready. Uh, that happened uh, Sunday, and then I gashed my arm open. I needed nine stitches. That was uh, almost, or it was two weeks ago. Um, pretty much healed up for that. I'm going to have a gnarly scar, and then I uh, slammed my pinky in a car hood, uh, working on that at my job, and my pinky nail went stage left. Um, so that is three. I should be good on hurting myself for quite a while. I mean, if I go a couple years, I've been in a lot of pain lately. And uh, this off season hasn't been exactly pleasant for me. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I get to relax. You know, I don't have to worry about races, getting propped and, and, and doing tires. I just, you know, basically have to make videos for you guys. And uh, here I am hurting myself nonstop for the past two, three weeks. That stuff can stop it right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I had this idea, I've had this idea for a while about talking to the new people coming into open cart racing. Uh, you may be, you know, racing your small block at your local track. You're thinking about doing UAS or doing rung what you're wrong. And uh, I just did UAS engine for, I don't, I, I don't have anything against rung what you're wrong. We just don't have that class up here. If it were up here, I would I would run it. If you say run what you're running, I'm not going to change anything from my current platform, but I'll go race races with you. Or if I were to go down south, I'd just bring my UAS uh, legal ride and, and race in those races. I, I don't care either or. I have, I have no beef on it. I just, I prefer UAS. My cart's set up for that. Okay, cool. Anyway, so somebody coming into UAS or run what you brung, what do you want to choose? Do you want to choose a light or a, 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 a smaller CC displacement and be lighter, or do you want to have gobs of horsepower and a higher CC displacement and clearly be heavier, regardless of if you're rung what you're rung or if you're uh, or if you're UAS, the the weights are gonna be the same. So we'll we'll take for instance uh, Evan C. Uh, he is the current UAS uh, champion uh, points championship. He just finished off his second title. He runs a 150cc two-stroke. Uh, that cart is as light as possible, I believe, per UAS uh, weights. He has to weigh 350 pounds with a 150cc engine. That is super duper light. Currently, I ended up third in points overall. I have a 270cc engine and I had to weigh 420 pounds with that engine package. Now, what's the difference? Well, we're, we're going to take out skill of the driver. We're going to take out crew chief. We're going to take out tires. We're going to take out all that stuff. I can tell you for a fact, because I've raced my Yamaha, my KT100, and how light that is. I weigh, I think I weigh, oh, I haven't weighted down to make the class weight. I think I can weigh like 360 pounds on that um, for the KT100. I have to weigh it down to make 375. So much easier to drive. When you get more horsepower, the, obviously the, the 270cc engine has more horsepower than the 150cc engine, you're going to get uh, more wear on your tires. You are going to get, it's harder to drive. It is more violent to power and it the, the steering gets stiffer. The heavier you are in the chassis, the steering will get stiffer. Now, is it manageable? Absolutely. You got to run 20 laps. Usually there's a caution or two. You get a breather. It's okay. Um, but I'm saying that the 150cc engine um, is going to be just lighter. It's going to sit on the track lighter. It's going to, you can be in the track, but on the track at the same time to where is anything, you know, like I'm just, I'm bringing up the, the two-stroke, you know, because that's what I run. This pertains to Jawas as well. When you get into your 450s, when you get into your Jawas, they are going to be exceptionally heavier than what the, the say, the, the BRC is going to weigh. All right. Also, uh, power, <laughs> uh, power to weight ratio. You know, my, my, uh, my coworker picks on me. He's a drag race type dude. And I, I once upon a drift said something about, you know, it's power to weight because, our horsepower calculated against our weight is exceptional. I mean, it, it, it's really good. And yes, they might be little go-karts, but they are they are wicked fast because of the power to weight ratio. So with the 150cc engine, they will jump out of the corner if you can make that weight because it's all relative. As it may be less 
uh, cc's it may be less power less torque all those things but with a lighter driver it equals out at the end to whereas you know going with the bigger cc's going with a 250 a 270 whatever it is going with you know your 450 or your jaw was at 500 cc's your power has gone up but also your weight has gone up so it's all relative it's kind of you know like a I don't know, I'm not getting into it, but if you make minimum wage, you know, $25 an hour, now a loaf of bread is five bucks instead of it being 99 cents. I know the math doesn't work there, but you get what I'm saying. When you when you raise one thing, the other thing has to come up with it. That's, that's how power to weight works with this. So when you're coming into UAS, your choice is gonna have to be, do you wanna even start off light? Do you wanna start off with like 125 cc two stroke? You're gonna start off with a Sinam. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's like 325 pounds. Can you make weight at that? Amazing. That little engine makes phenomenal power for that weight. Now, if you're a little overweight of that, if you're you're weighing in at that 350, 360 pounds, um, then something in 150 cc, a BRC is going to be more up your your lane. To where's I am all of 200 pounds. Now, mind you, my engine package is a lot heavier. Uh, the the Bama is a lot heavier than a BRC is than a sedan is going to be. So I'm all of 200 pounds, 205 on a heavy day, you know, give or take. But my 270, I have to weigh 420 pounds in UAS, and I weigh about 420 pounds with no weight on the thing. I have a battery to, to run my uh, my power valve and stuff like that, but I don't have extra lead on the cart. I just happen to weigh that much. So would it make sense for me, you know, unless I could lighten the cart a lot, which would have to do with engine package. If I could lighten the engine package, I can, you know, like the, if I can get an air cool, uh, kind of like the KT, I can get down there in weight but you know it's all relative. You're you're lowering horsepower, but it's going to be easier on your arms. It's going to be easier to drive. I can tell you that the 270 is a handful. It is violent when it gets on the pipe. It enters the corner super fast. You got to deal with a ton of shoot speed. Uh, when you get to the center of the corner, sometimes if it's a tick tight, you you got to muscle the thing a little bit. That's going to scrub off speed to where I got a feeling that the BRC at being 150 cc at being that uh, 300 or 350 um, pounds is just gonna be light and fluffy and on top of the track to where it's nice and easy on the hands, nice and easy to you know go through the corner. You're not gonna wear on your tires a ton. You know, all these things, it's all relative. So I thought, I'd, I thought this would be an interesting concept and you know, for, for you guys running clones and predators that do watch my channel, I, you know, I occasionally will be doing videos like this because UAS is what I know. High horsepower carts are what I actually know. So I'm taking guesses at some of the clone predator type stuff on an engine side of things. The you know the the, the handling aspects, the tire aspects, all all relative. They are they are all the same. It is still a cart. We run the same carts as you guys, so that is the same. But uh, the dynamics change when you're running higher horsepower. And I thought this would be a topic that that might interest some of my fellow high horsepower nut jobs uh, the way it does me so to break break up the break up the uh, the tire thing for a while here it's just sometimes I get into tire videos I'm like God, is that like three or four in a row I'm like I gotta I gotta do something else I know tires are a hot topic and a, I'm no tire guru so I I don't want I don't feel like I'm a fraud but uh I'm not the the man to be discussing every aspect of tires to you guys. Uh, I just know I you know over 20 years I've learned my fair share about them, so that's what I'm translating to you. But I often find like I'm doing a lot of tire videos, and I, I like tires as much as the other guy. I know that's it's where the uh, rubber hits the road type of thing, and that's where ultimately your speed is transferred. But tires they're rubber, they're they're round usually. <laughs> So, all right, guys, uh, if you didn't mind, did I say this already? I shot a video before. I didn't I didn't particularly care for the way I said it. So I'm going to do it again. Um, if you didn't mind hitting a like on this video, if you like this type of content, possibly subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys swinging by and checking out my channel every single week. Um, I'm going to probably peter down a little bit. I want to add this in. I might not do Tech Tip Tuesday anymore. Uh, the idea of the live stream still 
contemplating in my head, but I may, even if I don't do the live stream, I'm probably going to drop a Tuesdays just because it's, uh, it's off season, like I said, or it, it's hard to keep this thing at the forefront of my mind when I'm not racing every single week, or at least out in the garage working on stuff, getting ready for a race. So I may drop the one video a week. I'm sorry about that, but uh, for my own sanity, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's a little difficult getting out here and recording these, editing, all that stuff. I'm not complaining. It's just, it, you know, if I can uh, take a little breather on that, throughout the winter months and then come back in springtime and get fired back up. But all right, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, we'll see you Tuesday. I think I have a video for that already. I think I do. All right. Later.